In this video, I'm going to be breaking down the best coaching adjustments in Madden 23 for the month of September. This is just kind of an update video on what my recommended coaching adjustments are and why I recommend them to be that way. Um, now, this can be a little bit different, to, you know, based on what schemes you're running offensive and defense, but I'm just going to go through my favorite ones right now. So the way you access the coaching adjustments is that you click your right joystick in at the play call screen. So you're going to see here, we're just going to click this in. And what I recommend currently is auto flip defensive play call. We're going to leave that on auto alignment. I actually like to come out in base align um, from a lot of different formations. And the reason why is because when I come out in baseline, if I auto into something, then it's not as big of a tell. And if you show blitz, um, it kind of gives you a pretty decent alignment. You don't have to do this, um, but right now my favorite, I actually also really like man align, um, but you can kind of mess with this one as you would like. Ball and air defense, we're gonna put this on swap ball. And the reason we're gonna put this on swap ball is because it's gonna significantly help with the aggressive catches. Essentially, if it's a one-on-one -on -one situation and you don't feel comfortable clicking on and trying to make a pick, then you're not gonna click on and you just let the computer back, computer corner uh, swat the ball. Cornerback matchups, we're going to leave this on balance. Option defense, we're going to put this on conservative. What this basically means is anytime that they run a read option, your auto uh, focus of your defensive end is going to focus on the quarterback, which means all you have to do is stop the ins or the run. So you kind of defend it essentially like it's an inside zone. Strip ball, we're going to put this on balance. Tackling, we're going to leave this on balance. Zone drops, I did want to quickly just address zone drops. I really don't like zone drops this year. I just feel like they really don't play that good. Um, they might be a situational play call, um, but the I feel like the 30, 10, and 5 is really not the move this year by any means. I think you want to be you know, either just blitzing out of cover 2 or playing man or match, which leads me to my last one. So zone coverage, this is normally set to default. We're going to put this on match, and that's kind of the basics of – our coaching adjustments that I would recommend for you right now. And then I also wanted to show you my offensive coaching adjustments. Really here, um, I actually do think that putting these on uh, conservative isn't a terrible move, um, especially for like the deep pass catching. But you know, you can just, I mean, you can honestly just leave these on balance. Ball carrier, uh, I do think that, uh, I did want to address conservative. A lot of people like to play on conservative because essentially they think that they don't fumble. In this year's game, you still fumble when you play on conservative. I've seen it happen. So for me, I'm putting this on balance. But if I'm running with my quarterback a lot, then I'm going to put this on conservative. Okay? So that's kind of the basic premise of my coaching adjustments. Now, if you want to get all my ebooks and stuff and learn how I run all my schemes around this, make sure you join our Patreon. Uh, all I wanted to do is just show you here. So you see here, this is like base aligned uh, man to man. What when I come out and let's say I pinch my defense, you see here that it's going to kind of auto fix it. And then if I show blitz, even more so. Now, it also applies to zones. So a baseline zone, let me show you. Uh, a lot of times with baseline, they're going to be out wide like this, especially against a compression set. So what I like to do if I wanted to bring them in is we're going to simply show blitz. And when we show blitz, you see that they kind of pinch in a little bit. Now, you still have this little bit of a tell over here. However, back to the man play here just for a second. Uh, and I just want to show you that if you if you are you know in something like this and you let's say you're let me get the thing fixed here, but you see how see how it kind of looks almost identical, right? Now obviously he's misaligned, but I will say he plays outside corner routes really well in this alignment. So like let's say they run a corner strike uh, for example, something like this. Okay, I just want you to watch. I'm going to just drop people back into coverage here. And I just want you to watch that corner out. So what you'll see here, he's already outside leverage. So he's going to play that really, really well, as you can see. So now, is he going to play inside stuff really well? Not necessarily. Um, but I will also say real quick with this, he doesn't really have to. Like, if you think about it. So again, we, this is a baseline. This is literally the baseline look. So if we wanted to, we could just not press and just literally leave the defense like this. And I actually think this year's game, this might be one of the first games ever where this is actually a really solid way to play. And the reason why is because 
everything that they beat you with is outside. So this like post route will get open probably against man. But you see, look at that. He almost he almost takes that completely away. And obviously my user is going to be there as well. So mess around with base in line. I really do think that this year um, is one of the first Maddens I've ever played where I do think I, I played Maddens where baseline was good. But I think this might be one of the best because off coverage man this year is really, really good. Like it really is pretty decent. Um, and it's going to force them to, you know, have to do other stuff. But anyways, you know, so that is what I'm doing coaching adjustment wise. You don't have to baseline. If you don't baseline, you'll see here, it just looks like this. Um, the problem with this, you'll notice that it's actually significantly, and I mean significantly easier uh, to get stuff like, a corner route open so you'll see here he's now inside my guy has a lot of room now he actually didn't really win that bad there but I'm just telling you from experience that's that's way easier to play offense against so maybe something to think about I just think this the sizes your coverage really well it's so like if I audible to cover three you notice nobody moves if I audible to cover two nobody moves so you know it might be something to kind of think about I've been really enjoying doing this uh, specifically out of main coverage um, you can certainly still press, but you know, again, what I would really recommend is if you're gonna if you're gonna do that, you do something like this here, and then you want to show blitz. And by showing blitz, this kind of keeps it to that same basic alignment uh, that we like here from this. And then obviously we're gonna get crazy good pressure because nickel over is that powerful formation. I do have a defensive ebook on that as well. If you want to check that out, that's gonna be linked in the description. But just want to do a quick video talking about my coaching adjustments right now. And I also wanted to talk about um, the alignment stuff. 